Hey everyone, this is Seth Sanford. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'm about to react to what Logan Paul has put up right now on his YouTube channel. Um, Logan has just put up his new Pokemon video titled, I Bought the World's Most Expensive Pokemon Card, um, which costs around um, 5.3 million bucks, 5.3 million dollars. And I've seen the pictures on Twitter and on Instagram, his uh, social accounts. And I think he's done a TikTok video also, and he's also one about a Guinness Book of World, a Guinness World Record for the amount of Pokemon cards that he has collected over the past two years, I think, uh, since the pandemic and leading up to this moment. But anyways, let's have a look at what Logan has to say about his Pokemon card, like three million, um, three million, um, three hundred thousand bucks. Um, just 5.3 million, that's all I'm going to say. So, let's, let's check this thing out. Before launching myself off the top rope at WrestleMania. Oh yeah, he signed a deal with WrestleMania. securing the first win of my career. Ooh. You might have seen the card I was wearing around my neck. Yeah, I've seen it on the socials. This is the rarest card in the entire world. The most valuable Pokemon card in the entire hobby. The holy grail right here. See, when I first started in Pokemon, Ooh, I love those most visuals. curious collectors, I looked up the most expensive Pokemon card. And this was it, the Pikachu Illustrator. Uh, in 1998, a, a Japanese. Japanese magazine called Koro Koro Comic hosted a Pokemon illustration contest. Only 39 winners were awarded the treasure Pikachu Illustrator designed by Atsuko Nishida, the creator of our beloved Pikachu. Today, Ooh. no one knows for sure how many copies are left. Who animated but this? That's PSA's insane. Website, they've only created 20 of them, which means they examined the condition. The better condition, the higher value. Of those, there's one four, two fives, one six, two sevens, five eights, eight nines, and only one perfect PSA 10. Ooh. I wanted one. I even had the opportunity to find one about a year ago, but it ended up being fake. So I jokingly Ooh, punched through scam. a window and spent the night in the hospital. Oh, you broke a glass window. Uh, so I've officially uh, blessed the Anyway, this card is a big deal. Not only is it extremely rare, they're expensive. A nine is currently listed on eBay for four million, and a seven Ooh. just sold for nine hundred k. And the ten? No one knows. It is the no only one, one in perfect condition, and at this point, it's just a rumor. There are no pictures or videos of this card online, anywhere. And no uh, one I know has ever even seen it. Are you kidding me? Until one day in February 2021. I may have an opportunity See you to in purchase Africa. the one and only PSA 10 Pikachu Illustrator in the world. Oh, shut up. Why did the mic? Some guy hit me the up dwarf on Mamba. He said, hey, buddy. I just had a very <laughs> reputable person message me the most crazy Pokemon card in the game that he wants to sell. It's a PSA 10 Pikachu Illustrator card. The only one in the world that's a PSA 10. There's no chance, bro. I've heard stories about this card. It was bought by a wealthy family. And I oh, guess. I thought it was a fake. I thought it was a fake picture. picture. How much is too much for this card? I would go four. Four? No, no, no. <laughs> two million. Four? Four million dollars. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look on my was right. I really want it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Wild, Look at his face. <laughs> wait, wait, say that one more time. I said I have some bad news for you. Why? After she said that after sleeping on it, um, he doesn't want to sell anymore. Oh. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> for short lived, whatever that means. It's all good. I don't. I don't even want it anymore, man. Who says you don't want it anymore? You've got 3.5 million on that card. This is the second time I've been within harm's reach of the Pikachu Illustrator, and I failed. Oh! <laughs> I don't over yet. I hope. Well, four I months went by, and I still couldn't stop thinking about the card, so I said... It reached out to a friend of mine named Jeremy, an expert collector who knew the mysterious seller and was somehow able to reignite the conversation, but with a catch. The price is six million dollars. Four months ago, he was asking for four million dollars. The second option is we find a PSA 9 and then he would give us a two million dollar credit. Six million dollars or four million dollars and maybe like a one million dollar card. Mm -hmm. All we gotta do is find the Pikachu Illustrator PSA 9. 
That's the, says the guy who's sitting in a chair in his own office. Hard. My network of collectors has become quite large, and after a few phone calls, I found one. So you found it. One million two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, uh, he has to fly back and forth for this Illustrator card. As a collector, or anyone who hears about Pokemon trading cards, this is the first card you hear about. Holy beach. Ah, uh, that's the card. Minty Fresh. Welcome to Dubai, Mother Eppers. <laughs> Today is the day, bro. I think this will be the biggest transaction in pop culture history. There's been several in the five million range. Nothing like this. Yeah. To be honest, the seller, the guy that we're about to meet, I didn't know he existed. I had only heard rumors of this guy because he's so low key. We can't even film him. He's uh, one of the most private individuals oh. I've ever met. He wants to do this right in his face. Mm. But he doesn't want to do I don't even know how to do that on Adobe Premiere. Nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you, brother. This is crazy. I swear to God, I wasn't convinced that you existed. They're like, yeah, you know, the Pikachu Illustrator is the most expensive car. There's some nines out there, and there's rumored to be one one. But you're here to represent exactly. the seller who will remain anonymous. But is that the one? Is that the person? How many collectibles are in this room right now? We have at least 15 million. Oh mm -hmm. you love Pikachu. Yeah, he's the best, bro. He what is the this, bro? This is sick. Are they hand drawn by Mitsuhiro? Oh. Holy sh! Oh. Now it's my turn, boys. Seriously, hand drawn. Now it's my turn. Uh. <laughs> All covered in bubble wrap. I uh, was able to secure a PSA 9. I also have, if this is an IOU, $4 million. <laughs> this is my <laughs> this is historical. This will never happen again. I owe you. Collectible deal ever done in history. <sighs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready for it, Logan. I'm sure of it. Oh, oh no, you did not. Well, at least you were case. ready for it. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> scared to look. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> is that box real? Um, it's like that way the company made it themselves. Oh my god. What was thought to once only be a myth <laughs> is now sitting in front of me inside of a custom Maverick case. <laughs> I recognize that piece of music, but I don't even know who plays it or composed it. Oh man, it's literally perfect. Uh, and that's how he ended up wearing it in a wrestling match in WrestleMania. Well, he can't wrestle it with, with the, his necklace on. Ooh, knock him out, Logan. I'm with uh, Guinness World Records. I'm an official adjudicator. And I can tell you that Just like I the said. most expensive Pokemon trading card sold at a private sale is a PSA Grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator card, $5,275,000 on July 22nd, 2021. <laughs> wow, that was a year ago. Congratulations. <laughs> Round of applause for you, Logan. But it's even cooler that you, yes, you at home, can own this card with me. Right into the plug. <laughs> wow. This was a very hard decision to make, but yes, I will be listing this card on a platform that I co-founded called Liquid Marketplace. It allows co-ownership of top-tier assets. So instead of one person, me owning this card, we as a collective can co-own it together. I'll also be listing it for $5 million instead of the $5.3 million I bought it for. So basically, I'll be giving you guys $300,000 discounts because everyone likes discounts. And I should say this, I'll be retaining 49% ownership of the 
Pokemon, so I won't actually have access to it. It'll be in our vault. But if I want to wear it out to fights or a Pokemon box break, or maybe even put it in a museum one day, the community could decide if we want to do that. As a collector, this was a hard decision. I would love to keep this for myself, to be honest, but I, the idea of a community getting to co-own it together and blowing up the platform that I co-founded, Liquid Marketplace, was way more exciting. That said, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. You're this welcome. was a crazy journey, and I can't believe I got this card. If you want to co-own it with me, liquidmarketplace.io or link in the I'm description. Fine, thank I love you. you. Take it easy. Bye. He has to make more YouTube videos. We missed him um, the past number of months. And now he's busy doing these Pokemon videos and entertaining his audience. And especially um, entertaining the people of the US and in the UK with his new um, energy drink that he did with KSI. Teaming up with KSI called Prime. Well, uh, again, congratulations, um, Logan Paul, on the world's most expensive Pokemon card, uh, costing $5.3 million. And I think that wraps it up. I'll see you on the next video. Um, but wait, before I sign off, uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe today, and turn those notifications on, and follow me on Instagram, at SepSanford, link in the description. And again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.